All right, so partial fractions is what we're going to tackle. So in partial fractions, if you watch the concept video, there's some basic scenarios. And before we can really delve into the problems, I need to know that you understand after you factor how you can decompose a fraction. So what I mean by decompose, you go from common denominator to what it was before common denominator. So if I have a product, if I have a product of terms in the denominator, how do I break that up? Oh, um, you'd put a over x plus number one and then plus b over x plus number two. Good. And then however many factors there were, it would continue on and on. Mm -hmm. And then if we had whatever on top and we had a multiplicity or a uh, exponent, what would happen there? Well, do you know? No. Okay, on this one, what you do is you just do to the first, then B to the second, and you just do a letter until you get to the power that you're desiring, oh. in this case. Okay. Z, will say, over X. Let me zoom out a little bit so you can see this. Uh, X plus number to the N. Do you understand that rule? Yes. All right. So now um, we look at what if we have a power of two? On this one, we have to have a difference of numerator denominator power of only one. All right. This is x to the first. This is no x. x to the first, no x. So here, this is x squared. So on top, we have to have an x. Are you with me? Yes. Sorry, you're kind of like a little delayed. Okay. No, that's, no worries. And then the last one is just a combination of the previous two. I'll just go squared because usually you won't see it more than squared. It's going to be AX plus B for the first power and then CX plus D for the second one. Are you with me? Yes. Okay. So let's see it in action. Do you have all this written down? <laughs> 